Hi all, I am Muhammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in our last video, we have discussed about creating a RDS Postgres database and we were able to connect it using the DBUR. So in this video, I will show you how can we connect a RDS Postgres database from using the Python, okay? And also, we will be creating a new database and we will be, uh, we will be uh, basically we will be doing um, tables and uh, select and the insert operations. So that is the agenda of this particular video, okay? So first of all, first I have opened, as usual, like I have opened a Jupyter notebook, then first we need to install this particular package. Okay, now let me add few cells, okay? So here we can import, okay, we can import, uh, we can import this package, we import this package, okay. Now we need to establish the connection, okay. For that we can have, we can create a connection. So here we need to give the database, database credentials first we have to give the host okay then we need to give the port okay port is 5432 for uh, postgres then we need to give user so username postgres then password okay okay so this is my password and never ever give this password to any production environment okay now we need we need the host right for that let me go to the aws console here i'm checking here yeah so this is my connection so let me copy let me paste it here okay so i am running this yep now the connection is ready. Now we need to enable auto commit true to avoid some errors. Okay. Okay. Now we can create a query. Okay. We can create a db create query. We can have db create query. We can have a creates database and database name. So currently I will give my test db. Okay. This is my query. Now just create a cursor. Okay, cursor can be created. Now, curse. Now we can execute the query. Very simple. Execute db query. Yep. Okay, I can close the connection. Now we can check our db UR. So here I have opened my DBUR. Let me refresh it. Okay, sometimes it will have some issues. Let me. Okay. Let me connect it again. Okay. Yep. So we can see that we have the my test database is ready now. Okay. Let me open this one. Okay, nothing is there, it's empty for sure. So what we can do, we can connect to this particular database, okay, and we can try to create uh, some tables there, okay. For that, let me create another notebook. Okay, for the time being, let me just copy and paste it here, few things, let me paste the db here, now here I can, I can have the database name, okay this is my database, so this is, then I can have the auto commit is equal to true, okay, now similar to that, I can create a cursor, okay, sorry, connection dot cursor, the cursor is ready, 
we had few cells okay now we can create a table selection query let me have it a table query table create query i will call it okay we can create a customer info table create table then i can have a customer info table name okay now i can have a column i can have a column id serial then primary key the id is our primary key and we have a column called text which is uh, sorry column called name which is text and we have a age column which is a type of a plot now as we have done earlier we can just execute it table create query okay the table is created okay now we can try to insert few values to the table for that let me create a insert query these are very simple sql queries okay insert into table name table name is our insert info then i need to have a name then age okay then values i can give values here maybe i can give a b c age is 22 okay this is one query now i can execute it okay cursor dot execute insert query so i have executed this insert query now we can check we can check this is uh, this tables are available or not all those things we can check okay okay the customer info table is created so let me open it the value is also added here we can see that a a b c 22 age now maybe i can have we can just copy this one we can create another one x y z maybe 32 let me add few more cells this also we can execute execute and insert query yep so i've come coming to here we can just refresh it see the data is available now okay so that means this is working so we have done insert operation okay now we can see how can we do a select operation okay let me have a select query you can have a select query select is little different i can have select star from maybe customer info okay this is my query okay then i can execute it here cursor dot execute select query so select query is there now we need to fetch all the data right so now currently the cursor is a query is executed now we need to see the result right for that we need to fetch all the, there is a function called the fetch all okay cursor dot fetch all so this will be we can check type of records this is a list that means we can loop through this particular record okay i can have a row in records i can print we have the id right id we have a row zero okay then let me copy and paste we have id name age so this is one this is two then i can give a printed so let me run this yep so here we are able to print all the values right the values that we have inserted okay so yeah that is all about in this video so we were able to create establish a connection with the database then we are able to create a 
database and we have created a table and we inserted the value we in we, we done a select query also okay okay so that's it thank you very much for watching this video please do like and subscribe okay have a nice day bye bye